In this video course, we're going to use MySQL to store data. You can use any uh, database you like because uh, Hibernate can uh, work with most of them. So I will use MySQL. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install a MySQL server community a community server okay so to download a mysql community server you will need to go to a url in your browser dev.mysql.com forward slash downloads forward slash mysql or if if address for some uh, reason changes just google for it download mysql from mysql.com uh, once you open uh, the downloads tab and then navigate to community uh, you will land on this page, download MySQL community server. Scroll down a little bit and there will be generally available releases. Download the one you like. You can download the zip archive or I have downloaded the one uh, that is for Mac because I'm installing MySQL server on, on Mac. So I've downloaded this version and you click on download button and it will start downloading. Let's click on it. There's one more page you need to log in and or sign up and then log in to download MySQL. But you can skip both of these uh, steps by clicking no thanks. Just down, uh, just start for my download. And if you click on this link, it will start downloading a MySQL server. I have already downloaded it and it's on my desktop. I'll just bring it up here. So I have copied downloaded file uh, to my desktop to start installing just double click on this installation file and it will bring up this window on mac so we'll need to double click on this icon now and it will bring up the installation window i have already installed it but let's close it and run it again to show you so it starts with the introduction you click on continue and then you have to accept license if you don't you won't be able to install and then you click on agree and then you choose the installation type whether for all users on your computer or not so i'm installing it for all users on my computer just click on ok install and then uh, you will need to provide the admin password for your computer the password which you use to log in into your computer and then installation begins okay installation uh, was completed successfully i can close this now i can close all of these windows and uh, to start up my skill server i will need to bring up a terminal window so uh, you can bring one by going to uh, launchpad and then uh, you can search for it terminal by typing terminal and it will uh, bring up the terminal window it's um, it's here for me so right now I am on the uh, folder of my project, but uh, MySQL is usually installed uh, into the folder called on Mac uh, user and then local and then MySQL. And if I look for files, there is a bin folder uh, CD bin that contains uh, lots of uh, executable files. So what uh, to start my SQL server, I will need to go to uh, one level back. I'll need to go to MySQL and then into support files, CD support files, and then list down. And uh, here's my SQL server that I can uh, start to start MySQL server. And by the way, this is my second installation of MySQL. And this is why MySQL, once installation was complete, did not uh, display a message dialog with the MySQL password. But if this is your first time installing MySQL, and once installation is complete, it should display a dialog that will display password, something like this. I have uh, made a screenshot. So once it does present you with this dialog, MySQL installer, and it will present a password, which is this, take a screenshot of this uh, using your favorite program. I used Grab, which you can find on your Mac again. So it's called Grab. I used uh, this program to make a screenshot of this uh, dialog window. And here's the root password for your MySQL 
you want to save it just in case you need it but i will show you how to reset this password to a better password that you can uh, remember okay so again mysql did not prompt me just because this is my second installation in a row okay so i'll close this and i'll close this and to start mysql server uh, you can uh, let's just start from the beginning the full path is you go to cd user and then you cd local and then you cd into mysql so this is uh, your mysql folder then you will need to go into support files and then inside of support files you can run this mysql server as a root so i uh, will do sudo mysql server and then space start and that will prompt you for your password i will provide my password on my computer and it did not work oh let's repeat this with this change so i click on and it's starting mysql service okay so mysql service has successfully started up now i will need to go back one level and list folders and i'll need to enter into cd uh, bean folder and i will list it again so here we have mysql executable so i will use the same command to my to start mysql and then uh, i want to start it as a as user root so i'll do dash user and then i'll write username root and dash password and hit enter and here you need to type in the password which you have saved as a screenshot here's the root password that you have type it carefully don't make a mistake and then once you did hit enter it should start mysql server once it started to set a password to a different one use this command set password and then equals password and then in the brackets uh, you open quotes and then choose a different password instead of that very long and difficult to remember password but don't make it one two three or something because it's insecure i mean i'm working on my local computer so i guess i'm okay so i'll come up with the password set password sergey and once i hit enter and then semicolon the password will be updated so i can exit my sql now and then try again i'll repeat command a dot forward slash mysql uh, user root password and now i will type sir and mysql started i can run a very first command like show databases a semicolon and at least down some of the databases that are available uh, with the installation